So for our case study, we did the Kraft Heinz company, which is quite a large conglomerate that owns um, a lot of varying products. So the company traces its roots back to the late 1800s, um, playing a big role in shaping the packaged food industry. Most people have Kraft Heinz products. Uh, you would know them from Jell-O to Oscar Mayer to Capri Sun. They sort of have a very wide product differentiation. Um, and in today's age of rapidly increasing health awareness, the company is facing a problem where its consumer tastes have sort of shifted away from bigger, more traditional corporate brands and towards sort of more niche um, health aware concepts and products. So after years of growth, their revenues are flat and they're sort of at a significant net loss. Um, and this is of course, because of that link between food and health that's becoming more and more sort of publicized and noticed as it becomes just a more wide, wide stream thing to be conscious of. Now consumers are spending more time oops, in produce refrigerated and frozen sections as a result of this shift in sort of societal mentality around the health of food. Um, and the image of these established food brands contradicts the idea of healthy nowadays in the consumer's mind as processed food sections and grocery stores shrink while produce continues to grow and grow. Well, okay. So the first question of the factors that influence consumer behavior, which category or categories best explain their current situation? So a lot of it is psychological, um, which has to do with motivation, perception, learning and beliefs and attitudes. And this sort of plays into the fact that the beliefs and attitudes of modern culture is sort of shifting in its perspective away from these larger brands. And sort of that is also reflected in the personality aspect, the personal aspect where self-concept plays a big role in the sense that people want to view themselves as healthy people and healthy individuals and so as such they'll sort of consume healthier products um, and this of course plays into personality and then to a degree there's sort of a social pressure to eat these healthier foods as you see sort of TikToks and mod TikTokers and modelers and all of these you know influencers and opinion leaders sort of leading their, the way in terms of what we should be thinking about in terms of the food that we're eating. Um, and then for the specific consumer behavior that most accounts for their current situation, I think a lot of it is cultural as we were talking about prior, sort of having to do with the set of basic beliefs, values, perceptions, wants and behaviors. So this is a sort of societal shift towards wanting healthier food and being more health conscious sort of at large. I mean, you see this also with sort of documentaries like Food Inc. and Super Size Me that sort of go after the big food corporate industry in a way that hasn't necessarily been done in the past, which is also having a pretty significant impact on sort of shifting cultural mentality towards healthier foods and sort of in increasing and catalyzing the general distaste towards or the growing distaste towards big corporate processed foods. And then with respect for buying groceries, discuss the buyer decision process and how it has changed in recent years. So buyer decision process, need recognition, information search, evaluation of alternatives, purchase decision and post-purchase behavior. Um, it's become a lot more research driven as people start to care more and more about specifically the ingredients that are in their products as people start to get more knowledgeable about what different preservatives and additives are added and which ones are healthy and which ones aren't. And the internet has sort of become a great tool that gives customers and consumers access to a lot more of this information about what foods they're putting into their body. Um, healthier food choices also have become more affordable in recent years. So you're not necessarily always having to choose between healthy and affordable anymore. Um, and buyers are no longer enticed and trusting of big popular name brands because of sort of the culmination of all of these factors we've been discussing so far. So for our recommendations for how Kraft Hutton should handle this moving forward, I believe that, that to gain more popularity again, they need to diversify with more health conscious options. If they were to use their already large and well-known brand, well brand and they're already established like a um, supply chain to make healthier food choices for people, they could win back some of their market share for smaller companies that have kind of 
rose in popularity with their healthy options, but might not be as well established of a company as they are. And they could be, they could possibly launch a private label brand with the new named, like uh, Costco's does with their Kirkland signature or rework the packaging and nutrition information to make it more appealing to these health conscious consumers. They need to push more products like their uh, Smart Ones brand. And they used to own Weight Watchers, which they only have a small stake in now. But if they focus more on these health conscious options instead of their usual forte, they could probably gain back a larger portion of the market share. And for our class discussion questions, do you think that Kraft Heinz history of products that are less nutritious would be a deterrent to customers, even if they started offering fresher and healthier products? And then do you think that reworked packaging or an entirely new marketing campaign with these sort of new offshoot branches of the company would be more effective in swaying consumer opinion towards viewing them as a healthier alternative? Do you want to do the conclusion? Yeah, and for our conclusion, Heinz needs to keep up with our society's demands for more health conscious food to stay competitive in the grocery store market. And if they can give the consumers healthy options backed by their already well-established company and supply chain, they can regain their section of the market share again. And yeah, thank you. Those are our references. Sweet.